multitasking is a lie. Multitasking is not something that your brain is capable of doing. In our society, multitasking is perceived as a skill, like a proof of productivity, but it's all wrong. In this video, we will understand what is really happening in our brains when multitasking, and you really need to keep watching because I'm gonna show you with a very compelling example that multitasking is purely inefficient. And if after that, you still want to multitask, then okay, I'm gonna let it loose and I'm gonna show you how you can do it in the most productive way. Sounds good? Keep watching. Hey, bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy entrepreneurs and managers be more productive and get back in control of their own time. If this sounds like you, you may consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that we see each other every week. Why not? An experiment done in 2011 suggests that multitasking can reduce productivity to up to 40%. Oh, la, 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 la. That being said, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I wrote the script of this video while running on the treadmill. But before we go any further, do you identify yourself as a multitasker or not? Let me know in the comment section below. I really want to know if you are a serial multitasker or not. I can't wait to see the results. Also, I'm very curious. What is the weirdest multitasking combo that you make a habit of doing? Come on, it's just between you and me. Just let me know. Come on, let's have some fun. Multitasking is like marijuana. Multitasking can lower your IQ by 10 points. So multitasking is equivalent to losing a full night of sleep or twice the effect of marijuana. I have to be honest with you, I haven't found the source of this study. So if you have the source of this study, please let me know in the comments. I don't want to relay fake news. Huh? So when you think you are multitasking, you're actually not focusing on two things at the same time. You're just constantly going back and forth between these two tasks. You don't see it because this is happening very quickly, but this is what happens. When switching from task A to task B, your brain follows a two-step process. The first process is goal shifting, meaning your brain taking the decision no longer working on task A, but switching to task B. And the second step is called role activation, meaning when you switch from task A to task B, your brain activates a new function in your brain in order to complete task B. Because task A and task B do not actually necessarily use the same brain function. So whenever you are switching back and forth between task A and task B, you're constantly doing this two-step process. Goal shifting and role activation. Goal shifting, role activation. Goal shifting, role activation. I'm already tired. So you don't really see it because this is happening very quickly. It's just a matter of milliseconds. But all this time, switching and activating is time you could spend actually focusing on one single task. So adding up all these times, all these milliseconds, at the end, you're losing time. So it takes longer compared to if you were performing these tasks sequentially, but also it adds some room for mistakes. What were we at? Oh yeah, multitasking. Let me prove it to you with an example. This example is inspired from the book The Myth of Multitasking from Dave Crenshaw. I'm going to show you right now two different ways of completing two tasks. First, sequentially, and second, multitasking. And let's see which one is the most efficient. So the two tasks are writing a sentence on the whiteboard and the second task is writing a given series of number that equals the number of letters of the first sentence. So first I perform task A completely, I write the sentence, and secondly I write the series of number. This is the total time it took to perform these two tasks. Now let's switch to multitasking mode. And this is the total time it took me 
to perform these two tasks. It takes me more time performing tasks, multitasking in parallel, as opposed to do them sequentially. So I hope you're convinced now. That being said, the loss of productivity can be acceptable in some cases. If I'm texting while driving, where milliseconds really matter, then that can be life-changing. If I'm scrolling through Instagram while having dinner with my wife, well, I may get into other types of problems. Bad example. Uh, okay, I got it. If I scroll through Instagram while watching a baseball game, that's a good example. I mean, who watches baseball anyway? Nothing happens during a baseball game. I'm sorry for people that love it, but like I can do a thousand things while watching baseball, including a nap, and I will never miss a thing. That's me watching baseball. You get the point. So the trap comes when you think that you're handling two tasks at the same time successfully. Your brain releases dopamine that gives you a sense of accomplishment. So that even pushes you to do even more multitasking. Even worse, you feel like you're productive on the spot, but because of the back and forth and because the energy it takes to your brain to do multitasking, you will have to rest sooner and ultimately it impacts your productivity on the long run. I tell you, focusing on one task at a time is far more productive. Still not convinced? Okay, so we just proved that your brain cannot focus on two things at the same time, right? But I understand that your body can perform two tasks at the same time. And you can do it in a smart way. Let me explain. So your body has what we call muscle memory, right? And while your brain can only focus on one thing, your body using muscle memory can perform another thing that does not require any brain or major brain activity. That's why you can listen to music and sing while driving or listen to an audiobook or a podcast on the treadmill at the gym. So in order to identify what are the tasks that you can do at the same time, I want you to ask yourself the following question. How strenuous is the task that I'm going to undertake? Do I need full capacity, full brain capacity? Yes, then you cannot multitask. Just do one thing at a time. In the event you do not need full brain capacity to perform task A, then you can add another task that can be handed over to your muscle memory, for example, that do not jeopardize your ability to perform the first task successfully. And then it's a matter of finding the sweet spot and I rely on you for that. What are your thoughts? Do you agree now with me? Are you convinced? If you're convinced, type it in the comment section below and write convinced. If you're not convinced, then let me know. I would love to continue talking about it and maybe learn more new stuff. Thanks for your support on this channel. I really appreciate it. Like, share, comment so that we can try to reach more people. Subscribe to the channel and maybe you want to watch more video. See you at la semaine prochaine.